Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, we're talking a little bit more about neophobia. If you're not familiar what that is, we'll talk about what it means and how you can help your bird if they do have neophobia. So we're gonna get straight into things and I hope you enjoy this video. So if you're not familiar with what neophobia is, it's the extreme fear of new or novel things. Now this isn't exclusive to parrots, any animal can experience neophobia, but it's not something that we want for our birds or any animal for that matter, because it makes their lives much, much harder. Now with neophobia, we often see it manifest in lots of different ways that maybe we don't realize are neophobia. For example, when birds don't want to try new foods, it may be that we think that, oh, they're just being fussy, they don't want to try Try it so we won't try again or maybe birds don't want to play with toys because they don't know how to or perhaps they're a bit scary for them they haven't seen toys like this before or in different colors and different kind of shapes and things that can be neophobia it might not just be because your birds being fussy or being difficult because we often label birds in different ways we anthropomorphize them we uh, put human emotions and experiences onto our animals and it doesn't always set them up for success so if we can assume that perhaps they are a bit nervous or fearful of different things whether that's trying new things or being in new things presence then we can set them up for success by trying to help them with it so what does neophobia look like in birds? Well, quite often you'll see birds just freeze and be very, very scared of the approaching or object in their space. With cockatiels, it's quite obvious, and cockatoos as well, because their crest will normally go right the way up in the air and they'll go quite skinny. And a lot of birds will go quite skinny as well. They'll really hold their feathers close to them because that is a sign of being a bit unsure about the surroundings. Some birds will also hold their wings a little bit out from their body. Again, kind of getting ready for that fight or flight response. Usually flight, they'll often want to escape from anything scary. Some birds will also be super aggressive as well with anything new, again, because it is a fear response. So sometimes you may think that your bird's just acting out, they're being difficult, but actually quite a lot of these behaviors are kind of masks for being afraid. So excessive vocalizations, even biting sometimes, which is why we always recommend just really analyzing your bird's behavior because sometimes you might think the behavior means one thing, but actually it is kind of covering up what the true issue is, which is often going to be fear. Now when birds are fearful of perhaps trying new foods or playing with toys, it does cause problems for them because if they're not having a varied and wide diet, then they are potentially gonna be deficient in nutrients because we want our birds to be eating raw, natural whole foods like they would kind of experience in the wild. It's more natural and enriching for them to have all these different lovely real foods rather than processed foods. So when they are missing out on these foods, they're kind of missing out on key nutrients as well, which is a real shame. And as well as this, when birds aren't playing with toys and being enriched in different ways, then they're lacking in choices as well. And a lack of choice and enrichment does set them up for failure and it kind of limits what they can do throughout the day. Um, so making our birds into more confident and independent individuals is gonna really help them to thrive rather than just survive. So how do we overcome this neophobia in our birds? Well, I've got three top tips for you to help your bird become more confident. The first one is desensitization. This is where you gradually, over time, get your bird used to new things and you do it in a nice controlled way so that you know that you're getting a bird used to different things and you are setting them up for success. When you really bombard them with lots of different things at once, that can be overwhelming. So it's good to do it in a structured way to help them. And my fiance, David, has a video all about desensitization if you'd like like to learn more so I'll leave a card for that now and a link in the description. The second thing you need to do is train your bird. Now I see this quite a lot, people are like, oh my bird's scared of toys or scared of food, what do I do? I've tried it multiple times. And you can use positive reinforcement training to get your bird interested and engaged with pretty much anything. And you may have seen, and if you haven't, I'll leave cards at the top and link in the description as well. I have videos on how to get your bird to eat vegetables and also how to get your bird to play with toys because there's lots of different techniques that you can use. And sometimes you have to be a bit creative with uh, getting a bird to enjoy these things but you can use positive reinforcement training to get your bird interested in just about anything you'd like them to and the last tip I have for you is don't rush your bird if you flood them and bombard them with scary things and you just expect them to get used to it then you're quite likely going to create even more fear and stress in your bird there's also a phenomenon called learned helplessness which is where your bird realizes that there's just no point fighting anymore because they're just not given the option to say no 
and that leads to a lot of really undesirable behaviours like just basically giving up and just letting you do whatever you want, stroking them all over. We see that a lot with people who just decide that their birds is going to be, you know, stroked and stuff when they don't want to or stepped up and, you know, forcing hands into chests and things. The way to have a really balanced and healthy relationship with your bird is to give them choices and allowing them to say no and to fail as well. So when you're not doing that, there is a possibility that over time your bird or any animal for that matter can experience learned helplessness and it is quite tricky to turn that around. So we want to be making sure we're setting our birds up for success, making them independent and confident individuals, allowing them choice, allowing them options and allowing them to say no as well. Now if you think the task of getting your bird kind of over this neophobia is a bit too much, you'd like some expert help, then of course do reach out to David and I at Best Behaved Birds. We would love to help you. We've helped lots of birds with neophobia, whether that's getting them onto a healthy diet, whether that's getting them to play with new toys, whether it's exploring the house or getting used to different individuals, socialization. So if you would like to learn more, our business details are in the description of every single video and on my YouTube channel page as well. We have affordable and bespoke consultations no matter where you are in the world. So we would love to speak to you so do reach out to us with a message if you would like and we do have lots of different games that I haven't mentioned in this video and other techniques that work with both little birds and big birds as well but I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about neophobia in this video if you have any questions about it if you want a bit more clarified if you think your bird is experiencing neophobia do leave me a comment down below as I would love to speak to you but in the meantime thank you so much for watching chips being super noisy but that's part of the fun of living with parrots so take care and see you later.